hey guys welcome to my youtube channel this is my very first official video so i'm starting off by priming my face with the la girl pro primer and you know primer helps the foundation to last longer um you know primer helps to smooth out the skin making it look more polished and even so i'm now smoothing out the primer on my face so you know it gives the smoothness to the skin and i'm um, now moving on to my brows So I'm going in with my anchor pencil and um, it's in the shade not, um, dark brown. So I'm using it to fill in my brows and all I'm doing is following the natural shape of my brows. You can purchase it at any, you know, local drugstore. So I'm moving on to the next brow and I'm doing the same thing like I did and the other filling in guys so i'm not using my spoolie to smooth smoothen out my brows you know i don't want any harshness going on so yes or look too dark or too thick so yes i like you know the front of my brows to look like you know thin and natural so i'm now going in with my la girl um concealer pure beige and i'm using it to clean up um under my brows and you know it i don't know but it's always um work better if you use like a shade or two lighter than your natural um skin color to highlight because you know that pops you know it brings out you know it just yes stand out and i'm doing the same thing on the other They're not looking even, but I guess they don't want to be identical. I think it has to do with how my brows were shaved, but I got this. So I'm now cleaning on top of my brows and I'm using my foundation, my Fit Me foundation, Matte Plus Poreless, and it's in the shape, um, it's in the shade, sorry, um, 230 buff. I, for me personally, I do not like to use like a um, light concealer, concealer or, um, you know, foundation on top of my brows. I like to keep it, um, you know, natural. I like when it can like blend in with my natural skin um, color. So for me, it's always a concealer or foundation that is in my skin tone. still cleaning on top of my brows and I'm using just a regular um, concealer blur, um, brush sorry, to do the work. I think they're looking a bit more even i don't know but yes i'm now going in with the same foundation fit me foundation to you know yes for that perfect tone that flawless face 
I'm going in with my beauty blender, so I'm just dumping it with some water, you know, to blend in my foundation. Seems I use a bit too much. Don't be like me, guys, wasting products. Always try out your arm foundation, you know, so you don't have to go through all this work like me. So, this taking me a longer time than the usual time to get it, um, you know, blending out. But I'm just going to keep blending, blending until I reach my goal. <laughs> You know, blending your uh, makeup is one of the most important aspects of makeup application. You know, blending gives you a uh, better coverage overall and makes your makeup look flawless and professional at all times. So, yes, it is true. I didn't know it has such coverage so now I know it has a beautiful coverage work 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 <laughs> it's working me yo Yes, so I think it looks a bit better. It's getting there. Yes. Bear with me with the lighting, guys. I know it's poor, but it is poor. So I'm still trying to blend in so you know everything is even out. I don't want any harshness going on. I know I'm all over the place, but I'm just trying to get this foundation all bending out. So I'm now in with my concealer, the color Pure Beige to, you know, highlight under my eyes. My chin, my cupid bow, my nose, and uh, my forehead. And you know highlight brings um, the light back into your face, but you don't want to overdo it. And I'm also using it as, um, as a base for my um, eyeshadow. So I'm using that small concealer um, brush to, you know, blend my concealer out. Yes, yeah, so that's the LA Girl um, setting powder, and I'm using it to um, set my eye, my lid, my yeah, and that's just a regular um, powder brush. I'm used to setting, you know, the cons the um the powder in place. Sorry. Smooth. Yes, I'm now blending my hair, my concealer. I'm using my um, you know, sponge to do the work. Yes, so I'm now moving on to baking and I'm using the LA Girl setting powder that I used before to, um, yeah, you know, um, the setting powder ensures that your product will stay on longer and, um, you know, it provides a better finish and helps to set your makeup and fo slash foundation in place. So I'm using my Avon um, press powder to, you know, 
and uh, I'm using it to, um, you know, I mean, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm just using it to, you know, because I'm not using any highlight highlighted here, so I'm use I'm just using it where I did not highlight. So, yes. I'm using my BFF palette, it consists of highlighter, blush, and contour. So I'm using the dark brown the contour to um you know contour and it's you know it's good that you use a warm or cool tone color that is one or two shades darker than the skin color, you know, to contour. So I'm contouring the hollows of my cheek, the bridges of my nose, and my forehead. You know, contour um, gives a shadow and slimming effect. And it creates a super sculpted look that can help your nose appear slimmer, your forehead smaller, and your cheekbones more sharp. So I'm going in with my Sante New Palette eyeshadow and I'm using that dark brown, that brown color, sorry, to, you know, as my transition color. You know, transition shade is used to, um, you know, it gives depth to the eye, to the eye makeup. So, yes. I don't know if you're seeing it that much, but it's really, really nice. There's indeed a depth. Soft. it creates a dip for you know the eyeshadow so I'm going in with that regular um, eyeshadow brush and I'm using the eyeshadow L'Oreal Paris um it's in the shade bare natural it's really pigmented you know you're going for everyday makeup looks so you don't need um you know this eye color popping eyeshadow so you know a natural eyeshadow color will do the work and I really like it because i don't want to be you know in this you know colorful makeup on an everyday basis sorry so it's really nice really really pigmented it's really really nice like it i didn't even have to use the the um the brush i could have used my finger but i just wanted to use the um you know the brush so i'm back in with that um blending brush to you know blend out the edges you know so there's no harshness going on in my crease or you know anywhere on my lid And I spend time doing my makeup, you know, I just don't like rush on. So I'm using the eyesh the Usher's um eye eyeliner gel. And you know eyeliner used to define the eyes. So I'm going for a baby wing, nothing drastic, you know. It's an everyday looks so you don't need this you know huge wing <laughs> so yes my baby wing will too and i really really like the look and i hope you guys do i'm not perfect at it i'm still working on it and it's a beginner friendly so there's nothing named um perfection going on here but you know yes that's my nana coco um eye and lip 
pencil and I'm using it to line my waterline. I really like it. I have this pencil for like two or three years. You know, it just bring it, you know, it brings out that look that, you know, yes. And it's really, really dark. So it's a drugstore um mascara. And you know, mascara used to lengthen, you know, thicken, darken, you know, yeah, you know, intensify your lashes, your natural lashes. And because I'm not going in with I'm not going I'm not putting on any falsies, so yes, I'm just trying to get my lashes to you know stand stand out drawing more attention to the eyes so i'm now onto the bottom lashes <laughs> taking my time because so many times you know i stick my eye you know i stick myself into the eye with that so you know i'm getting there So I'm now dusting away the powder. Now dusting away all that excess powder. I'm going in now with that um, blush palette. There's no name on it. All the name rubbed off <laughs> spraying my face with the la girl setting spray and you know setting spray um helps your makeup to last longer it also keep your makeup in place where you left it i'm using a regular fun brush to you know highlight my face yeah, my favorite part of me doing my makeup you know highlighting and you know highlighter you know it reflects light creating you know an illusion of brightness and you know height you know that lit <laughs> so i use my um i use using my um tea tree cleansing wipes to wipe my lips the excess products now lining my uh, my lips sorry with my anchor pencil same dark brown and that's my mac lipstick it's uh it's like uh i don't know it's like a pinkish brownish look i don't know but it's like it's a nude color you know and i'm not going into my nyx um butter gloss yes i can have like a little glass sinus going on moving on to the hair so yes that's it thanks guys for watching bye see you in my next upload